Okay, it's time to watch a trailer and then react to it. I know how much you love that. This is a trailer for Rage 2, the sequel, if you couldn't tell, to Rage. A game that was, well, we'll talk about the original Rage in a bit. Let's look at this one. So this was announced recently, uh, yesterday in fact, and then they brought out the gameplay trailer the next day. It looks a lot more loud, colourful, at least from the announce. This is the first time I'm watching this. So artistically, this is a lot more serious and dark so far than the announced trailer. I'll show you some footage of that afterwards. That was funny, someone just playing a little game with their shotgun there. I always kind of like the artwork of the first Rage. Uh, here we go, this looks a little more loud. There we- oh god, that is actually legit loud through my headphones. Turn that down for myself. Okay, Avalanche Studios this time around, not id Software, who did the first one. So it looks like they're going, uh, I won't compare it entirely to Borderlands, but they seem to be doing the stylistic shift Borderlands had before the first Borderlands came out, where it looked a lot more dour and brown, and then became cartoony. Whereas Rage actually came out and was kind of dour and brown. Uh, I kind of liked the enemy designs in the original Rage, but the rest of it was a bit... I don't know. Uh, it wasn't this. This looks a lot closer. A bullet storm would be another perfect uh, comparison to this. It's a lot more just just from the footage, the real game might not be this exciting at all, but just from the footage, this is so much more dynamic, I suppose we could say the word is, than the original Rage, which I guess I will talk about now. I said I'll talk about the original Rage. Uh, so the original was good. I'll throw up some footage of that teaser trailer as well. I don't know if you've seen that, but this is the teaser trailer. <laughs> So Rage, I was very excited for Rage when it first came out. Not when it first came out, well, before it came out would be the better phrase for that because once I played it, I, I wasn't as excited, if I'm perfectly honest with you. It's okay. It was it, it was a pretty good game. I don't think it was uh, quite as bad as some people might remember it, uh, but it wasn't anywhere near the hype people had for it because people were waiting for its next big game we waited a long time for rage uh, much was made of its graphical power but that didn't really matter because the game itself was just a pretty decent shooter uh, with uh, some great character design but not so great world design or world building even and a bit of a half-hearted attempt to be more than a shooter uh, they tried to add more of an rpg thing to it but it just didn't quite it didn't quite work, it didn't quite gel, uh, but I did have fun with it. I thought it was well put together. The PC port was atrocious, uh, but the the version that was on consoles was, it was fun. I think I gave it like a seven in the end, uh, but I was very interested in the game uh, and was supportive of it before it came out. Uh, but here's a fun story for you. When I put my review out, I was uh, with Destructor at the time, I gave it a seven out of 10, it was a good score. You know, as good as Breath of the Wild, and people love that game. And it didn't really sit well with Bethesda, who sent me an email very concerned. Uh, and they weren't applying pressure or anything, but they were trying to talk me up from a 7. They weren't happy with the 7, and they were uh, a little confused and concerned with the score. And started pointing to things I said in the... Uh, in the review was, well, this makes it sound much better than the number you gave it. And I found that story interesting because of how Bethesda's been uh, with regards to games criticism, not just the freezing out review copies and making, giving uh, reviewers games at launch day so there are no early reviews, but they also still give early games out to uh, YouTubers who are big Bethesda fans, so they kind of can bet that it'll be rarely, you know, fairly positive. So it just seems like Bethesda doesn't really appreciate being criticised all that much. Uh, in fact, people who from Bethesda who uh, I used to talk to sort of unfollowed me off social media, everything sort of as I got more critical of uh, not just their games but their business practices as well with some of the gym acquisitions we've done in recent years. Uh, but yeah, yeah, they don't like criticism. They, they hate this video if they ever bother watching it. Uh, but I will say that Rage 2, uh, as a game, we'll get away from a uh, little backstage gossip. Uh, the game itself looks like they've taken some criticism of the original to heart. The original had a blandness to it. Uh, 
that a lot of people criticised, I feel. A lot of people brought up, and it, it just didn't quite live up to what we were expecting. And this one seems to be going what uh, the it seems to be taking the approach Dead Island 2 took when it had its announced trailer. Obviously, fuck knows what's going on with that now, but they went with a more comedy vibe to better reflect sort of a, a wackier. Uh, zombie thing as opposed to their original trailer was very somber and serious and this one seems to be going from a more serious world to a more explosive silly over-the-top world and in a post uh, Fury Road world you know Mad Max Fury Road uh, it's a good time for some bombastic stuff uh, we didn't really see as many follow in the wake of we had the actual Mad Max game but the less I say about that the better as for Rage 2 yeah yeah, I'm looking forward to that enough. Well enough. Hope it's good. Maybe 7 out of 10 good. Who knows?